Hello there, this is John V, software evangelist at Jscape, and you're watching another Jscape MFT server tutorial. In today's video, I'll show you how to set up an FTP server using Jscape MFT Server 10.2. The Linux distro I'll be using for this video is CentOS version 7, and I'll be assuming you already have Java installed on your Linux machine. If you don't have Java in there yet, you may watch the video Installing Java on CentOS Linux. Ready? First thing we gotta do is download the Linux Jscape MFT Server Installer. Go to jscape.com and then navigate to Products, Managed File Transfer, Jscape MFT Server, and click Download Now. You'll be asked to fill out a form. Go ahead and fill out the form and then click download. You'll then be shown installers for different platforms. You may download either the RPM installer or the zip installer and make that file accessible from a mounted folder in your Linux machine. Okay, let's now assume you're in your Linux terminal. If you downloaded the RPM package, you may simply run rpm space dash iv space install dot rpm. That should automatically unpack Jscape MFT server into the slash op directory. On the other hand, if you downloaded the zip file, copy the file into the slash op directory and unzip the file there. Normally, I would create a Jscape folder first and then unzip the file inside by executing the unzip command. If all goes well, a folder named Jscape MFT Server should be created inside slash opt slash Jscape or whichever directory you unzip the file from. Navigate into that Jscape MFT Server folder and then enter these commands in the following order. Dot slash js dash database dash configuration space dash configure and then dot slash js dash database dash configurations space dash init. Those commands will configure and initialize the built-in h2 database that will hold the server configuration. Next, let's add a server administrator user account. Type in dot slash js dash add admin space dash db space dash username space an admin username and then space dash password space and then that username's corresponding password in my case secret and then space dash sa again admin should be your admin username so you can change that and secret should be that username's corresponding password so you can change that as well next Let's configure the administration service. Enter dot slash js dash server dash configuration space dash host and then an IP address. In my case, I'll just use 0, .0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 space port space and then a port number. In my case, I'll just use 10.8.80 and then space dash timeout space 60. Let me break that down. This is the IP address and port number that you want the Jscape MFT server service to listen on. And 60, which is in seconds, is the timeout value for this service. The default port for the Jscape MFT server administration service is 10880, which is the number we're using here. In case you're wondering, the IP address 0.0.0.0 is a special address that instructs the service to listen on all available network interfaces. Next, let's configure the web REST settings. Let's enter dot slash js dash web dash configuration space dash host space and then an IP address Again, 0.0.0.0 .0 .0 space dash port space port number, in our case 
I'll enter 11880 and then space dash timeout and then 10. You already know what 0.0.0.0, .0 stands for, so that's that. 11880, on the other hand, is the default port number for the Jscape MFT server web rest service. And 10 is the timeout value in minutes. Now, remember, this is in minutes, while the previous one was in seconds. We now configure the credentials used when invoking command line utilities. Enter dot slash js dash client dash configuration space dash host space and then an IP address space dash port and then a port number space dash timeout space 60 space again dash user space again and then an admin username and then space dash password and then space and then the password just make sure the user and password parameters match the username and password that we used earlier in the js dash add admin command these are the ip address and port numbers and this is the timeout value in seconds after that you can now proceed to start the mft server service using the command dot slash start underscore service dot sh once you have your jscape mft server running you will normally want to administer it through the administrative web interface because it's web-based you can run it through any web browser for example chrome firefox safari internet explorer edge etc and then manage your server remotely so there's practically nothing to install but before we do that, let's obtain first our Linux machine's IP address. So now that we have our Linux machine's IP address, we transfer to any machine that can connect to that Linux machine. Just fire up your favorite web browser and point it to the IP address we obtained earlier, colon, followed by 11880 or whatever port number you assign during installation. If you see the login dialog as shown in the screen, that means you've successfully installed Jscape MFT server and are now ready to add an FTP service. Let's now log in into the web interface. Once inside, navigate to the domains menu. Click the add button to add a new domain. Give the new domain a name and click the next button. As part of the domain creation process, you'll be asked to select a file transfer protocol. Since the default protocol is already FTP or FTPS, you may leave everything as is. As mentioned earlier, the host IP address 0.0.0.0, .0 stands for all network interfaces on the local machine. Port 21 is the default port number for FTP, so we recommend you retain that. As for the type, there are four types supported. There's regular, explicit SSL, forced explicit SSL, and implicit SSL. The default, which is explicit SSL, already supports both the unencrypted regular FTP and its secure encrypted version FTPS. So we suggest you leave that as is as well. For more information about explicit, forced explicit, and implicit modes of FTP, read the article Choosing Between SSL Implicit, Explicit, and Forced Explicit Modes. We've provided a link to that in the description. Note, however, that the example underscore RSA private key selected there, which will be used in FTPS connections, is not for production use. You will have to create your own key in keys, server keys. To learn how to do that as well as how to set up an FTPS service, watch the video setting up an FTPS server. Click next to proceed. The succeeding dialog contains settings for the domain log service. You may change the location or directory path of your domain log files 
as well as specify how often the log files will be rotated. That is to say daily, weekly, monthly, or depending on the file size. We suggest you leave those as is for now. Click OK to finalize the domain creation process. You should then see your newly created domain on the main screen. You can check your FTP as service by editing the domain and then navigating to the services module. There's your FTP as service. Let's delete this for now and go back to the main screen. In case you already created a domain but didn't choose FTP as as the initial protocol or you may have accidentally deleted the FTP as service or you simply want to add an additional FTP service with another port number, you may do so by editing the domain. And then add an FTP slash S service by going to the domain's services node and then clicking the add button. In the succeeding screen, select FTP slash S from the protocol drop-down list. And click OK. You'll then be presented with the same dialog box we discussed earlier. Click OK when you're done. You should then see your newly added FTP service under your services node. Once you have your FTP as service ready, you can then create user accounts so that people can start using your new FTP service. To create a user account, go to the users node and then click the add button. You'll then be asked to select a user template. Now, assuming what you have there is a fresh install of Jscape MFT server, you'll only find one template in the drop-down list. That's the default. Later on, when you are more familiar with Jscape MFT server, you'll want to create user templates and then create users off of them. This will make the task of adding users much faster. But for now, just click OK. Fill in all pertinent information in the fields provided. For now, just put in a name, a login name, and that login name's corresponding password. Don't forget to confirm the password. And click OK. That user account will then be added to your list of users. Now that we have our FTP service and user account ready, let's now proceed to test them using an FTP client. Here I am connecting to it using any client. That's it. Now you know how to set up a Linux FTP server using Jscape MFT server.